This is day one for week three for the X at home workout program. So this is the first exercise for the A grouping is gonna be an alternating reverse lunge. Reverse lunge we did last week, right? So again, we're gonna, I'm gonna demonstrate my left leg being the working leg. So reverse lunge is almost that SLDL position, right? That toe comes down and then you drop your knee. One thing that I didn't mention last week, when you come to the bottom, this knee should be either in line with this hip or behind it. A common thing that I see with people is they don't step back far enough, and then when they come down, this knee is in front of their hip, and you just kind of create this ball lunge thing. So what I want you to think about, nice, big, flat back, abs turned on, that reverse lunge positioning, knee drops back, and come back up. And the alternating part, means that you go from your left leg and then your right leg. So we're going to do 10 of those aside. And then immediately right after that, we're going to go into an eccentric slash ISO bodyweight squat. So again, with the squat, a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, toes pointed out, create that tension. And something, the reason I do this, some a cue that I've been missing uh, for all the weeks because this screwing in kind of takes it out is when you come down I don't want your knees to collapse in on themselves but if you screw in right and that tension builds on the side of your legs and into your glutes it's almost impossible for those, knee those knees to collapse in right so everything else is all the same toes pointed out screw your feet in squeeze your butt squeeze your abs the eccentric portion, again, is the way down, so it's going to be three seconds down. The iso portion, just like with those push-ups, is going to be at the bottom. So you're going to go three seconds down, two seconds at the bottom, controlled, nice and up. So screw your feet in, butt squeezed, abs squeezed, one, two, three, one, two. And come up nice and under control. So and then the abs, the last exercise on the A, it's going to be the shoulder taps. So wrist right underneath your shoulder, just like a push-up or a high plank. And then you're going to squeeze your butt, squeeze your abs, and tap each shoulder. And again, try not to shift too much of your weight over. Try not to sway too much. Trying to keep everything as in line as possible. So for the B grouping, same as last week, what we did here was just add some more reps. Instead of 12, you're going to do 15. Is those walking split stance bent over rows. So just like last week, taking a step out, you know, creating that staggered stance, testing your balance a little bit, and then you're going to bend over just like you're in a deadlift position, keeping your back nice and flat, abs turned on. And then instead of having your shoulders droop, keeping those shoulders pulled back, do a nice good row, fist coming into your armpit, drop them down, keeping your shoulders good again, don't let them sag, and then stand back up at the top. So from there, we're gonna do a dead bug reach. Same as last week, dead bug position, reach up to the sky. Dead bug position, reach up to the sky. Hold it for a sec, you should feel that in your low abs. So that's day one, swipe over for day two.